All right, guys, we are standing at the driving range of Whistling Straits Golf Club. We're gonna be trying to find the hardest courses on the GS Pro software to try to break 80 at. It's gonna be a series of videos called Break 80 Challenge, uh, pretty straightforward. And uh, let's talk a little bit about slope and rating. Probably a little confusing when you look at scorecards and you see the, uh, the different numbers on each tee box for the course you're playing. So what does the rating mean? So the course rating is gonna be some sort of a, a number that's going to tell you from that tee box what a scratch golfer would typically shoot. Um, so from the black tees at Whistling Straits, it's 77.2, so it's five over par. That's quite, a difficult, that's quite a difficult rating. Now the slope on the other hand is uh, a number that's just used to compare courses. So the hardest courses are gonna be up to 155, the easiest courses are gonna be down to a 55, with 113 being about the middle mark. Um, Whistling Straits is a 152 and you're gonna see why. This course is challenging for me because the course I play every weekend does not have trouble on both sides. Every hole in this golf course has trouble on both sides, so it's tough to keep the ball in play. Now a few holes have out of bounds, most of it is weeds you can get out of, but as you're gonna see, you gotta be on your game the entire way. So um, I will tell you, I recently just got my index down to a 0, 0.0 for the first time in my life, so that was really exciting for me. And so my goal, is going to be to shoot 77, uh, which would be five over par, slightly better than what the course rating would be, um, but it's gonna be tough. I'm gonna get uh, working here on the driving range, getting uh, loosened up, and I'll see you on the first tee. We are off. Now I wanna give a special shout out to Tech Bud for this golf course. He spent a lot of time on it. Uh, it takes a ton of work to give us these great courses, so we, we certainly thank him. First hole, we're uh, starting out hot here, 481 yard par four. Uh, skinny fairway, you can see it down in the diagram to the right. I'm gonna be aiming about 285, 290. That's about where I hit it. I can get it out to 300 if I really connect, but that's not, that's not where the norm is, so we're gonna try to keep this in play. Hole one, whistling straights, so let's roll. All right, that's a great start. I've been really trying to work on course management this summer to try to get the big numbers out of my game. So we'll be talking through that as we play. 176, pin's already in the middle of the green, so we're gonna hit it to the middle of the green. I'm gonna hit an eight iron. Um, again, down on the lower right, when you're playing this, you always wanna be aware of what your lie is. So you can see I'm a little bit down and the ball's got a little bias to the right. That's really not enough for me to affect my shot. Um, so let's see if we can put one on the green here. Well, we'll take that. Now I'll be honest with you, you think you get excited about a first hole birdie. What it does to me when I play with my buddies on the weekend, it gets me thinking about how low I can score and then everything goes to crap after that. So we're, we're happy with the birdie, but we're gonna still focus on what our uh, primary goals are here, which is to make a lot of pars.
hole two, 579 par five, OB to the right, very narrow fairway. I'm not gonna really, going to have to switch my aim point, but again, par five, if we hit this in the weeds, it's not a problem. We just can't go right. Totally fine being in that bunker. You know, when the, the course is playing so long, the drive on the par fives are less critical because most of the time, I'm not gonna be going for them in two anyway. So, so I've got a fat part of the green right down, or a fat part of the fairway, which is what I'm gonna shoot for right here, which leaves me a, a pitching wedge in. So 157. I got a downhill lie. I'm just going to hit an eight iron. So 150, we're downhill again. Which means the ball's going to come out a little lower. I'm going to hit a nine iron. I'm gonna hit it just a little bit to the right because I don't wanna be left. So I'm gonna to aim to that right front edge, maybe even a little deeper than the pin, and we'll just try to put a good, a good swing on here. Twenty-one feet down a foot. I'm gonna play this about thirteen feet, maybe twelve feet. One seventy three. We're going to go back to that eight iron. It's downhill. You know, I typically will take two thirds of the elevation change. I used to go number by number. So if this was eight yards down, I would just take one seventy three minus eight. But now I do probably five yards. So this is going to be about one sixty eight. Again, we're aimed to the middle part of the green. We really just want to hit as many greens as we can today, and hopefully we get a birdie here or there. See right there, we gotta hope that stays on. Get on the green. All right. Yeah, that was flirting with it. Now that kicks left into the crap and we're struggling to try to make a, a bogey. So we don't wanna get too aggressive. All right, nine feet, a little bit left to right. This is, uh, this is one you wanna have a good look at. All right, 474, par four. Gotta stick to our plan here. Keep the ball in play. I'm not gonna be able to go at that pin just because it's very unpredictable. You probably take a 25% haircut on your yardage 
out of the weeds here. So I'm just going to try to make a par. I'm going to hit it, try to hit it up there. We're, we're majorly 16 degrees to the left, 14 degrees to the left. This ball is going to come flying out left. So we really just, we really just want this one in the fairway. That's, that's all we want. So I'm even, I have it on the right side of the fairway. I'm even going to hit it farther right. It should spit it out to the left. And it really didn't do much there. But we got away with it. Look at that ball go. So we tried to get this one up and down. We got a pretty good yardage here, 109. I got my 54 degree, which is bent to a 55. So we got a left, left hanger, a little bit, 1.7 to the left. So I'm going to try, again, we're gonna to try to stay away from the trouble. We're gonna go out to the right a little bit. See if we can make a par here. Fifteen feet up two inches. All right, we gave one back, but it my the, the best advice that I would give to you if you're struggling to make bogeys and you're making a lot of doubles is when you're in trouble, just get the heck out of trouble and Except that you're not going to hit a miracle shot. I mean, one of the stats I love is when PGA Tour players are in trouble off the tee, they're going to make bogey 80% of the time. So you just got to accept that you're in a bad position and you got to get yourself back into position and then uh, play the percentages. All right, one under through four, hole five, par five, little uh, weird side winding hole. Yeah, this hole gives me a lot of trouble off the tee, so that, that is a pretty good feeling right there. All right, 270, we're, ob we're obviously not going for the green, but we will hit it over here. I'm gonna aim there, 190, hit a six iron. Actually, I'm gonna hit a seven iron. All right. All right, 94. When we have 94 yards into any green on this golf course, we are very happy. I got an uphill lie, a little bit to the right. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I'm gonna hit my 60 degree. And it's gonna be pretty much a full 60 to try to get this in there tight.
So another hole where we got a pretty good look at a pin. 113 down four yards. I'm going to hit. So honestly, I'd love to just fire at this pin, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hit to this fat part of the green right there and then try to make a putt. Yeah, that was a terrible chip, and I got away with it. Two twenty four downhill, maybe a yard. Difference is going to be a four iron or a three iron. I'm going to hit a four iron. Just try to hit it smooth. I, you know, I don't always use a, a T with a par three, but I'm gonna use a T here. See if we can uh, survive this one. Nothing changes. We just try to stay to that same swing that we have. Seventy-seven feet, and it's down a foot. I mean, at this point, it's you're kind of just doing a field putt. Hole eight, 501 par four. This is a tough one. So goal one is we want a, a ball we can hit on the second shot. So another just try to hit a good drive. So we're going to go right here, 6-2 up, 121, it's going to hit a pitching wedge. That'll work. All right, so up and down for a par. Pretty good number, 105. We do not want to go long. So I'm going to go back to um, my 60 degree. My 60 tops out at like 97. So I'm going to hit a 60 degree. We're, uh, we got a right leaning lie. So we'll aim kind of right in the middle of the green here. That's what we wanted to do. All right, 28 feet, not a high percentage chance at making this, but there is a chance. <clears throat> a little bit, a little bit, but I'm just gonna hit this straight at the hole. 28 feet, down a foot, I'm gonna play it probably like 18 feet.
straight away, maybe just left of that bunker. Just keep it in the fairway. Keep life simple. Eighty-one yards, pretty good, uh, pretty good number again. I don't really like to to knock down my sixty degree. I kind of use that for full swings and around the green. So if I have to hit like a three-quarter shot or kind of a, a different shot, I usually go to my fifty-five degree. So eighty-one yards, we probably want to hit this seventy-five yards. So you, I, got, I don't know, I don't have these locked in, but kind of just go with a gut feeling for my swing. We'll see if that, uh, see if that works. Kind of pulled it down. Ooh, not good. That's the problem with missing the green from 80 yards. Now, yeah, just pushed it through. All right, we gave one back. Six hundred ten yard par five. We want to stay away from left. I am very happy with how I'm hitting the driver today. Just gonna hit a nine iron to that spot. One thirty seven. It's going to be a pitching wedge. It's either a pitching wedge, you know what? I'm going to go, so I don't want to go long. I'm going to go to my uh, 50 degree, which tops out at like uh, 127, unless I really go after it. I'm going to try to do a real full swing on this and try to get my 50 degree back there. And that's fine. Sometimes it's hard to be happy with a shot that you, you know, you feel like you got a decent number and you want to get aggressive, but it just, it really doesn't pay off to, uh, you really want to just hit greens, as many greens as you can. And then once in a while you can snake one of these guys in. Too much again. All right. All 
at 146, right on the front edge of that. We're not, we're not going after that pin. We're gonna go right here, 151, down four. You know, I feel like I'm hitting the ball a little farther right now, so I am gonna hit a pitching wedge. All right, we just gotta get this up on the green. Now you will, you, you might also comment, okay, you're not gonna get all these good lies, meaning you're not gonna always be able to hit this. You're absolutely right, but I don't really have much of an option. So just gonna play this out of the weeds. Come on back, come on back. And really all I'm trying to do is, is prevent a double bogey. So see if we can do that. Ah, all right, back to even. Got to stay positive. Get back to what we're trying to do here. Hit the fairway, hit the green. Hit the fairway, hit the green. I guess we really should be say, saying hit land, hit the green. I don't care if I'm in the rough. That might have been the best swing of the day. Eighty-five yards, a little uphill, a little bit to the left. I'm just going to go right of the pin, try to hit the middle of the green. Or the back of the green, either way. Pretty straight, looks like I'm right down the fault line here, right just straight at it. 43 feet down two inches. That might be too hard. All right. All right, we're, we're doing pretty good here. Again, the key is driver in play.
Got away with that one. One ninety. I am hitting the ball. I'm really loose right now, so I'm gonna hit a seven iron. We're definitely gonna aim to the right middle there. That was struck really nicely. Oh, this would be a nice one. Looks like it's a little right to left, down three. Let's give it a chance. The last two are not easy. Let's see if we can get through this one unscathed. This one we can actually reach in two, but we got to hit a good drive. shorter drive so we got to decide what we want to do on the second shot we got 260 up there we've got a downhill lie so that kind of takes what I want to do out of, out of out of play here let's just try to feed it up into the neck here and that'll be 196 I'm gonna hit a six iron Got a good look, a little left to right. Down three inches. We have a difficult hole here. I'm gonna need a four iron. You know, what's really, what I find when I have a yardage, maybe that's short, like, I would not think this four iron would be enough club, even though I'm gonna hit it. Sometimes you start swinging wild. So I'm gonna just try to hit a normal four iron shot um, down 10 yards, I've really got to hit it well to get there, but I'm okay kind of being on the front. Yeah, this is one, and I forget which key it is, but 
I don't know how to um, correct for this, at least visually. So you kind of go off, you have to go off feel. I'm just going to try to 26 down. I'm going to hit a 60 degree and just kind of pop it out. I've got 25 yards. And uh, I'm just going to hit it out and try to get it on the, on the green and then we'll try to make a par putt. 25 yards. Hole 18, see if we can finish one under par, which would be huge. Oh, that pin is, boy, that's a nasty pin back there, all the way back right. Well, step one is we got to get this in the fairway. Two seventeen or so, yeah. All right. One good swing left. Hopefully, just one. I'm okay with that. All right, I am going to chip this. Just going to try to carry it over that mound. Well, I will tell you what, that's about as good as I can play on this golf course. Um, Whistling straights, this is where the Ryder Cup was. Boy, it's a tough golf course. You gotta, you gotta play well all 18 holes. As you can see, I did not make a double bogey, which is what I'm trying to do with my golf rounds is in trouble, get out of trouble. Um, you know, this summer, summer of golf has, has really been great. You know, I haven't posted a lot of videos. I'm gonna get back to it more regularly this fall. Um, big shout out to Tech Bud for uh, giving us this great course to play. Appreciate everybody watching. Please subscribe, like the video. Tell me what, tell me what your thoughts are of the course, how we played. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.